how's it going? I wanted to, uh, took all the stuff from the camping supplies and brought it out to the truck and filled the truck up, set the whole tent up and everything. Because tonight we are going to be camping in the tent in the backyard. See how the kids handle it and go from there. But this is what I have set up so far. So obviously we got the solar generator. That's just charging my cell phone right now. And this uh, uh, camping light. Refrigerator's not on. I'm not using the refrigerator because we're, we're at home. But I just brought some of the camping supplies in here and see what's going on. See how like space-wise. I have plenty of space. I just tossed it in there. So for this draw here is pretty much stuffed. It's all, you know, cups, stuff for chopping up wood and everything. Extra cooking equipment, water pump, stuff to make fires, more stuff to make fires, extra lights. These lights we'll be using tonight because these are really awesome. You turn them, they pop open. They have a string light that goes around. They're solar. They have a little light right there too. But just pretty much stuff like that. No fire tonight or anything. We're just you know sleep out here. That's right. that's pretty much the the tool stuff for camping. And then here is the kitchen part of it. That's the kitchen part of it. This pushes down into a sink, cutting board. This is for the water pump. Make grilled cheeses, plates, the uh, what you call it, the toaster stuff, tablecloth, cups, uh, small pot set, a bucket for water, and you know spatulas and all that. And, soap dispenser thing well it's for ketchup but i'm gonna use it for soap we have the bigger um pot but it doesn't fit in here it's too big so i'll put the little one in here the bigger one's up there so that's pretty much for kitchen ones i have a thing that hooks on here that you can uh, put plastic bags i'm gonna use plastic bags for garbage bags because i have tons and tons of plastic bags this is really just extra wires. This is for the light, LED lights inside the uh, uh, inside the tent that are set up that get plugged into the uh, the solar stuff. But other than that, there's nothing else in the truck except for the uh, bags and that stuff. I just gotta straighten it up. The, the 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 cutting board that I made. I needed more space, so I just threw it in here. That's really it. I had to take the uh, awning off here because when I bolted it up here, it came up and it was hitting these. So I am going to have to figure out how to lower this down to where this doesn't hit here. So I just have to drop it down to here somewhere. But that's really it. It's not that big of a deal. It's great having this front little... Uh, balcony thing right here when I take the, the the cover off the tent I just throw it right here there's all that space I still have space for more stuff up there hey what's going on hold on I'll go for a ride say hello what you guys do yeah wow all right I'll be up there in a minute but I did set up the annex and everything this is the annex the kids have been playing in it all day today but it's so big. Those are kids' sleeping bags. And there's a whole nother. You can literally set up like two cots in here. And have plenty of room. All right, stop yelling. Stop yelling. Get up there. Put those back up there. They stay up there. They're a bunch of things. This has like pockets in here. You can open this up, access your door if you wanted to. I, I don't really need to go on that side of the truck. Don't put anything over there. More pockets. More screen this whole thing i mean i'm going to use this as a uh like changing area bathroom area if i ever had to um yeah it also comes with a uh, led strip it's really bright too that school's right by the door doorway it slips right out the hole right there and that's really it can you baby watch out
What are you doing up there? A tent. You got you're in the tent? You can yeah. get down? Alright, go slow. Come on. Let go let gotta let go of the straps. Reach for the ladder. You're not what are you doing? You go up and down, up and down? What are you doing here? Come on, let's go. Alright, let go. Come on. Reach for the ladder. Reach for the ladder. Good job. Good job. Yeah, she was scared and, at first, but I kind of just let them do their thing. Watch watch your uh you need water? All right, go go in the cooler. Go get the water. Okay. 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 When I hadn't put any bedding in up here yet or anything, I did add the uh, LED strip. And the kids are playing in here. And uh, that's really it. It's so big. <laughs> I can't believe how big it is in there. It, the cameras and stuff like that does not does not do it justice at all. It really doesn't. It's really big in there. I mean, there's gonna be so much room in here. There's pockets all over. And it, it today was like supposed to be like 70s, close to 80s today, and uh, it was kind of warm in the tent, but not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, the tent right now is directly in the sunlight. It did get warm in here, but. Not to the point where like, oh my god, I gotta get out of here. No, it was actually pretty good. It was really good. The only thing I have, I, I fight with it, is putting these up. These go across. There's the bar here that comes up, and then they go across. And you first initially, because when you when you go to shut this, this all closes up, and the annex is separate. I fight with that a lot. I do. I definitely fight with that thing is kind of annoying i wish it was able to like not these crossbars not these crossbars at all these are they just clip in that's not a problem it's just this bar right here this bar right here that you first have to put this the, the tent cover over this and i just fight with it that's the only thing i find extremely annoying about setting this tent, tent up is just that i wish it was just like you know, you disconnect these, you know, disconnect these crossbars and everything, and then this just pops up and folds up and folds with the rest of it. It doesn't. It just, it just won't fold up for me. Maybe it's me though. I, I mean, I, I could be. This is my first tent, so it could be me. I don't know, but I tried all different ways to get it to uh, fold up the way I want it, and uh, it hasn't. He kept giving me a hard time about it, and I find it find it that that to be the most annoying part about it. Other than that, it's there's so many videos out there of setting these up. I mean, that's why I really don't really want to do one because there's so many of them, and it's just you you take it, you you know unfold, you know unbuckle everything, you unfold it, and then you just put these rods in. Just that's really it, and the, this annex just literally just zips around it. You just follow the zippers but that this part right here but when it's like but when you're done and set up with it it's literally like a home on top of your car i mean that annex and that that thing is it's, it's huge it's like its own tent right there alone so the whole setup's gonna be great it's really 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 awesome That's from the, uh, I can't wait to get out there. I can't wait to go camping. I think our first destination, we're going to, it was real close locally home. And then, uh, we'll go from there. That's really it. Well, uh, See how it goes tonight with the kids. And then uh, go from there. Yeah, I gotta figure that. See, you can see, you see right here with the awning, where these gold bars come down. They're right there. It's just, I gotta drop them down. If I drop them down, they'll be work perfectly. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a learning lesson. You know, that actually rolls up more. The kids were playing with it. Gotta roll that back up. But it's nice being this high because there's like a breeze and that breeze just comes across it's so nice it's supposed to be 55 tonight it might be a little chilly so i brought the sleeping bags out and go from there 
But if the kids get too cold, we're right. The house is right there. They can just run down the ladder and go back into the house. But that's it. That is it. Well, I'll probably add more to this video and add some clips from tonight and see how it is tonight sleeping in it. But other than that, catch you later. Don't mind me, I just had an allergy attack and I'm waiting for the medicine to kick in because it's, you know, pollen season and everything. So, yeah, I get to deal with this. Dry, itchy eyes, nose, the whole works and everything. Every year, I hate it. But as soon as this pollen stuff is over with, then everything will be back to normal again without sneezing and freaking out. But anyway, so the whole tent thing, uh, you seen the video just a second ago before this saying that I was going to sleep out in the tent and everything. Uh, we got our pillows and blankets out there. We were going to go to sleep and everything. And the little one decided to uh, say, I'm going to stay up for a little bit longer. Uh, time out for one second. If you hear the water running in the background, that's my fish tank. Well, technically my turtle tank. And... Yeah, so I'm not in the bathroom or anything like that, or water just pouring from the ceiling. It's my turtle tank. But anyway, so the little one woke up, and the wife had work the next day, so those plans got squashed of trying to sleep in the tent that night. Um, I tried bringing the little one up there, and she wasn't really about, not in the mood for all that. So I was like, all right. So the girls tried staying out there. Okay, sorry about that. But yeah, she she was not about to have it. So the girls wind up staying out there for a little bit. They were out there watching YouTube and messing around. And you know, they finally came in, I think around like three o'clock in the morning. And I was like, okay, this is enough of this. So I locked everything up, called it a day, went to bed and yeah. Um, there's definitely plenty of room for me and my two uh, daughters, the older daughters. The little one definitely could fit in there with no problem at all. Um, I want to figure out something way to make it a little bit more stable because if there's wind or one of us tosses around, it kind of feels like you're on like a slight like a boat a little bit, but a little bit more sensitive. That's kind of like annoying, you know, I guess, but that's just me maybe. Maybe go to the junkyard, look for some uh, old scissor jacks, and maybe like you know use them as to, like stabilizers or something. Put them underneath there, underneath the frame or something. Figure something out. Something I can just you know take my cordless drill with me and just, just raise them up, stabilize it a little bit. But I felt that it was kind of like wobbly a little bit, and you know if you're trying to get comfortable and you're trying to get you know go to sleep and somebody moves, the whole the whole thing moves. The wind blows you and everything. I mean, it's not annoying. It's just one of those things. So, sorry for not steering directly in the camera. But, um, uh, that's the only thing I can think of that's like, eh, I need to, like, I, that I can definitely improve. I can find things to improve it to make it more stable. I'm not going to go out and buy any kind of, like, RV stabilizers or anything like that. I'll just go to the junkyard and find old, uh, scissor jacks for like five ten bucks or something like that and, and then use them I look for the ones that have the bolt head on there so i can just take a you know my my coolest in, uh, impact and just, brrr, and just boom done something real quick and fancy if i have to i can use a wrench for it emergency use wise and it's always good to have extra uh jacks you know they don't weigh really much you know but uh other than that i'm definitely going to try again to get the kids out there and try sleeping in it again um, I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to figure out. I think the next couple of days I'm going to start planning out something and figure something out and get out there and uh, uh, and try to get, get the camping going. That that I definitely want. I got to figure something out. But I was trying to do this and get them used to this, and then before you know, kind of like summer kicks off, and then when summer kicks off, I wanted to go 
go into like the whole camping thing, but uh, we'll try again. I gotta check the weather again, monitor the weather until I like, figure out when is a good day. The last two days when I wanted to do this was really good. Now the next couple days after this is gonna rain, so uh other than that, just like like the you want to help support the video and everything just shoot it a like helps with the algorithm and everything uh leave a comment below uh you know think about you know any any kind of comment or you don't want to you don't even have to put anything just put a dot and then just use that as your comment but that just helps you know push the video further helps with the al algorithm and everything gets it out there that you know people are interested in the video and everything um if you, if you can share it that would be great too uh you know maybe other like-minded people or stuff that people like in, you know like this stuff would uh take a look at it those are ways you can help uh support the channel it's just giving it a like commenting below sharing it uh that's that's really it subscribe you know that, that all that stuff helps out and that doesn't cost you anything um i don't want to be one of those channels that are like oh you know subscribe to my five dollar a month patreon channel and you know here's my paypal account and here's my cash app i, don't, I really don't want to do that i i really don't i'm more doing this to uh share my journey share my uh you know my experiences and everything and then uh maybe in the future you know when I'm when I'm dead and gone, the kids can look back and uh, you know watch all the videos because all the videos that I do upload, I keep on a hard drive on the computer, uh, an external hard drive. So as they uh, you know one day they want to sit back and just see what Dad was doing then, and this is what we were doing, pretty much documenting it, kind of thing. But that's really a reason why I'm really doing this. I mean, that's the best way. You want to help out the channel. You want to be become part of our family just you know like i said before subscribe like comment share it that's it i mean click the little bell so you know when we get you know you get a notification that hey you know mountain adventures just posted a uh posted a video i mean we do have instagram i gotta start paying attention a little bit more to that start posting pictures and stuff up for that um other than that I mean, where I want to go with this, I want to get into, like, camping location, like, uh, campgrounds and everything. Not like you're, you know, we're going off in the middle of the woods kind of thing. I want to steer more towards the campgrounds because those are more common. I want to start doing reviews of them and showing people, like, hey, check out this place, check out that place. Because that's when people are going to look up. They're going to look into, oh, what's this campground look like? And there's nothing out there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Get the kids used to, you know, camping and camping, you know, camping. And then uh, before that, before we'll go maybe into the uh, dispersed camping. Uh, pretty much camping in the woods with not, no amenities. We'll get into that. And we'll just go with it and see where it goes. Um, other than that, that, that's really it. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Ooh, 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 ooh.